Okay, so I have just got back from my first therapy session. It is Tuesday the 13th. So this is my first one. I was so nervous, but not as nervous as I thought I would be. I feel like the medication really is starting to take effect in the sense that I get anxious, but it doesn't feel as bad. So I feel like that's got to be the medication because I haven't had enough therapy yet for that to be affecting my anxiety for me to be like getting better. So it must be the medication. But yes, I went for my first session. It was with the same woman who I had um, like my interview the assessment appointment kind of thing with and she was really nice. So I was happy to have her. Um, I've already got my session for next week booked so this is obviously going to be a weekly thing and basically this session all we did was go over like because I'm getting CBT therapy we started by going over the cycle in which um, I think and how that makes me feel and how I feel just makes the anxiety worse and it goes through like that so basically we started with a situation my situation like the one that came to my head first was paying for something in a shop so we started with that listed down all the thoughts that I have in my head before I go into the situation so the things that you're predicting are gonna happen the thoughts running through your head like um, I'm gonna shake I'm gonna drop my money um, the person's going to try and talk to me, the person's going to think I'm weird, all that. And then we put, like we basically like drew out a graph, we put that that causes anxiety and fear and it makes me feel scared and panicked and those feelings make me blush, make me shake, make my heart beat faster, uh, makes my mouth feel dry, blah blah blah. And those physical symptoms make me then, or I, we call like it's called behaviour. So those physical symptoms cause me to do certain behaviours to try and make them better. So number one is probably avoidance in social anxiety. That's probably a, a top one for like the majority of us out there. Um. I had kind of like, I wear my glasses, which is probably why my eyes look so tired because <laughs> I don't have my glasses on this video. Um, yeah, like I wear my glasses because it feels like a shield between me and that person. You know, I have my fringe and my hair kind of comes over my face because it helps with the blushing. Just behaviours that we do to make the situation better for us. But the fact that I am putting hair in front of my face and avoiding eye contact is just making me more anxious, thus giving me more physical symptoms, thus making me do them behaviours more. So that was kind of like a triangle leading down from thoughts. And basically in the middle is self-focus and so that's kind of the thing that is happening while all this is circling around you and because this stuff is all circling around you and it's just happening in a cycle you start becoming very focused on yourself and so it's basically like all this is happening to me so I probably look really weird to everyone who is looking at me I'm probably like hunched up I'm shaking I don't know because I'm sweating maybe my hair's a mess like that stuff like that and you're so focused on yourself and all the stuff that is happening to you that it's just making everything even worse so it joins the cycle of everything just going round and round um, and my therapist also said that because this self-focus is happening we're focusing on ourselves so much when we're in these social situations that are making us anxious that we never actually notice if the situation has gone well so say you're in a job interview you're very anxious you start sweating and shaking so you start avoiding eye contact 
but your self-focus, you're thinking, well, this person's probably looking at me and thinking I'm weird, they're probably laughing at me because of how I'm acting. But because you're so focused on how you look and because you're doing the behaviour of lowering your eyes, no eye contact, how do you know that that person's even looking at you, has even noticed that you're doing this stuff? Um, how do you know they're laughing at you? They might just be sitting there, you know, very sincere and just understanding your situation, maybe taking into account how you are clearly feeling. Um, so basically, yeah, we looked at that cycle and CBT is going to look at basically that taking you away from the self-focus bit and helping you realise that actually the thoughts you're thinking about beforehand, the predictions you make for the situation, are not necessarily what is happening in the situation. If you just come away from your self-focus and you make eye contact, you talk to the person, you don't do the behaviours that anxiety has taught us to do, then you will see that actually that situation isn't that bad. And basically that's what this therapy is going to do. Um, I know it probably sounds like I'm kind of just dealing with it very well, but I take in information quite well so I can remember everything she kind of said. So I thought I would help relay it to you lot out there in case you're interested. Um, but basically it's all becoming pretty overwhelming. I had a second doctor's appointment yesterday about my medication she has given me another prescription for that but we haven't raised or anything so she's fine to keep it as it is for now so that was okay i didn't feel too bad going to that doctor's appointment because the thing is if you haven't gotten help yet and you're thinking about doing it but that first step of going to the doctors is too much one if you don't know where to go first the doctors your gp that's your first point of contact go to them Two, it may seem very overwhelming to go to them and very scary and that's how I felt but now that I had that first appointment with the doctor I realised that it's not their job to ask you why you're feeling this way, to delve into your past and figure out where this anxiety has come from. At the end of the day their job is to see if you need medication and just to provide that medication and make sure that medication is working how it should be and not giving you bad side effects. They, it's not their job and they probably don't really care that much about what's going on in your head, about the anxiety itself. And that really took off the pressure for me because I thought this doctor doesn't care what's happened in my past that's caused my anxiety, doesn't care that I'm anxious. Her job is just to make sure I am okay on the medication. And it's the therapist's job to then deal with the mental part of it. So the doctor's appointments don't seem that scary to me anymore because I know she's not going to ask me personal questions, questions I find uncomfortable. I'm not going to have to talk about it. It's basically just, yeah, the medication working great. Thanks, bye, got my prescription. So that's become easier. It's just the therapy that's overwhelming now. But I've got another doctor's appointment in a month, so I know that they're going to be a continuous thing now. I'm going to have to keep going there. But the therapy is now every week. And it's only going to get harder and harder as we delve more into trying to break the cycle of how I think when I'm in a situation. And that's the part I'm not looking forward to. Because it, like, it means I'm going to have to start putting myself in situations that make me anxious. And it just, at the moment, feels so overwhelming because I've gone 10 years completely avoid, well it's probably more like 13 years, but completely avoiding having to deal with it, completely avoiding social situations. Um, and now, not only do I now have to attend an appointment every Tuesday, which is a lot in itself, but now I'm having to face the anxiety and I'm having to start deal like having to start dealing with the situations that cause the anxiety. So it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. I was expecting after the first appointment, there's like a five, six month waiting list. I was expecting to 
be like, yay, now I don't have to do anything for five months. No, because my anxiety affects me so much, I got fast tracked, which is why I got an appointment within a week. So I didn't even get time to be like, okay, breathe, don't have to do anything now. I've been put straight into it and it's now every week and just, it's crazy to think about. And I think I'm like, I don't know, it still feels surreal because I've gone so long not dealing with it and now everything is happening at once it's very weird and I'm trying not to let it sink in I am letting it just feel surreal because I know if I make it feel real that's when I'm gonna feel overwhelmed and the point of getting help with anxiety is, is not to push yourself too far too soon because that's only gonna push you back and make you get worse so basically i got homework from therapy yay thought i'd be done with that since i left school but um it's not it's not bad homework basically that cycle that we went through the thoughts the feeling the physical symptoms the behavior and then the self-focus all for the situation of paying for stuff I have to go away and do that for maybe a situation that pops up during the week or just another situation which is quite a big one for me so probably like walking anywhere on my own will probably be one so she told me to get a notebook and start planning things out like that for myself and that is my homework so I've actually well I've got two notebooks I don't know which one to use I've got this unicorn one which is B6 size, and this unicorn one, which is A6 size. So you can see the size difference. I feel like A6 may be a bit small to use, maybe. So maybe this one, but I make these. So one, it's just nice to use something that I've made. Two, it has pretty pastel paper. And I mean, if you happen to write down notes about your anxiety and how miserable that makes you it might as well be in a fun notebook so i am gonna use this i'm gonna do my homework during the week get notes written down and yeah go to my next session next week at the weekend me and my boyfriend are going to the zoo and we're gonna go into the aardvark habitat enclosure um spend time with them we've paid to do that so i might vlog it for this channel just because it's not often that i get out with social anxiety so it might be nice to have a vlog that isn't me just sitting here talking about anxiety it might be fun to see it in the real world and just see some fun animals and see the aardvark because i'm really excited so yeah i think that's my video I basically covered everything that we did in today's therapy session i will probably do another one next tuesday after my next session i'll probably try and carry that on as long as we're talking about different things maybe just keep you updated if you want to follow my journey maybe get over anxiety with me subscribe if you just want to watch my journey maybe it's helping you kind of build up to getting help then subscribe leave this video a little thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!